welcome to Golden Engineering Project. Behavior has changed a lot over the 15 years that I've had the sanction. As you can see, there are lots of birds. <laughs> the last one. That's another ballerina call. There are lots of them. The day seemed way around you. That's a blue face time. Are the years really shorter to wait at the time? Have we paid all our dues in? So, when I was a child, the age of 13, I was given a air gun by my father, and in fact, he gave me a, oh, my parents gave me a very realistic gun when I was six years old, and a cowboy suit as well. I wanted a Batman outfit. They didn't get me a Batman outfit, they called me a cowboy suit. I had some very weird programming, very weird programming. And I'll tell you the reason for that. And that is that my father, I have worked out, trained under the MK program. They call it sleeper. That explains his very peculiar turn of phrase and his very strange behavior. It's taken me more than ten years for the birds to answer me. And I give, and I talk to them. I don't talk to them. I talk to them in English, but they don't respond to that. They respond if I talk in bird languages. And I figure that these birds understand each other's languages very well. I also am quite convinced, in fact, I have evidence of it, that they really like music. It depends on the music, though. There was a, there was a star, a bird star in the USA called Snowball. And the South Crested Cockatoo 
step to the pit and dance in time to music. You see that YouTube. Yes, yeah, so I used to shoot birds. I shot lots of birds to collect their feathers. But now I only collect ethical feathers. Ethical feathers are much more valuable and expensive. We use them for jewelry, put a feather in your cap, <laughs> jewelry, uh, dream catches, and red parrot feathers used to be the currency, the currency of Melanesia. I noticed that Google Maps doesn't have Melanesia. Melano. Melano means black. Melano Kefra, these words are. Blackhead. That is Manarina. The social honey. They really like to swing. <laughs> They used to be scared of me, but they're not anymore. They're also scared of the camera, they're still out there. That's the call that gets them the name Noisy Miner. It's only one of their many calls. I used to only have a few of them coming every day. In recent times they've been coming in bigger numbers and staying longer. Same with the lorry keys. So I had suspected for a long time that they were locking me up to steal my birds. They sort of admitted to by Nigel Lewin. Nigel Lewin, the English guy, who poisoned me, poisoned me for more than 10 years. Lots, lots of times. He laughed at the fact that I don't get paid for my work. He said, most people make more money than you. Not funny. As I said, I'm a scholarship and five million students I was in school. And these people don't even acknowledge me. The crook at PA Hospital don't acknowledge that I'm a doctor. They keep on writing Mr. Selim Ratna. It's quite intentional. Same with Ngia Tran for the Brisbane City Council. Ngia Tran was in the Brisbane City Council. My sister was quoted thirty to forty thousand dollars to aggressively clear my land. Aggressively clear it. That means destroying my business, destroying my sanctuary. And their motive, my father has actually said this regarding Sri Lanka and Australia, that their modus operandi or their agenda 
is modus operandi is to violate their basic human rights, torture them, drive them mad, and get them to commit suicide. That's exactly what my sister and father have been trying to do to me. My father accused the Sri Lankan government and the Australian government of doing that. to Tamil people that he has been speaking for the voiceless Tamil. Tamils are not voiceless. And he has privately written, I have a copy of this, that the expatriate Tamils are the stingiest people on God's earth. So that because they didn't want to give him yet more money. After he arranged with Jeffrey Robertson to, to supposedly, he said Jeffrey Robertson will drag these people to court, these blackguards. Jeffrey Robertson, and I know him very well. He was a Queensland, Queen's Council. He said, this crowd in Sydney, we should get not some American joker, but an Australian. Jeffrey Robertson recently made a QC. Yeah, so Jeffrey Robertson, you can see his, you can see his, presentation that they paid him lots of money to do on YouTube for the transnational government of Tamil <laughs> Jeffrey Robertson has a, a fake snooty British accent and he was on the show for Jeffrey Robertson hypothetical and his presentation for the transnational government in Tamil Eden is quite hilarious because he can't say any of the names. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I've been finding a pretty lonely battle against the Tamil Tigers for a long, long time. I paid a pretty high price for trying to stop genocide, real genocide in Sri Lanka and Australia. But now I've got, in the last few years, made a lot of connections on LinkedIn. I only had about a hundred or so, 150, and then 2019, I deliberately set out to increase my connections on LinkedIn. I was surprised by how many people accepted my invitation that I sent. I now got 14,800 connections. And there are some very prominent people about. LinkedIn calls them followers. I don't call them followers. I call them connection. Well, it's looking a bit 
looking quite promising rain, isn't it? As you said, the weather forecast was fit to be mostly sunny. It was sunny until I turned on my rain machine. So uh, give it more time and see whether this is another successful run of the rain machine. Thanks for watching.